What type of student were you in school? When I went to Prairie View? Man, honestly, when I got to PV uh, with the HBCU, I was actually so focused on the music. It was a party school to where it kind of took me out of the lane of focusing on some of the stuff I needed to be doing. It was just, I was so excited about the music. But I mean, I went and, 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 I, and I went to go focus on business marketing because I was like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I might as well try and do something that I can probably apply with my music and learn how to market myself and do that. So that's what I did go out there and do. Anything I do, I put my mind in it. So I, I'm a person where I, if, I'm trying to get the W, you feel me? And I mean, if passing classes is the W I need to get at the time, that's what I'm going for. But what happened was when I got down to PV, I, I really started taking off as an artist. I really became a mainstream artist from there. So that's really when my career started doing what it started doing. So I remember more about the parties and the events and me going around campus grinding, me walking around putting stickers up across the campus, me walking around passing out CDs and me being, you know, working with the DJ. I can remember all that more than anything. So I just say, man, Preview, it was a good it was a good time. I think the HBCUs is really the colleges is really a platform that uh, shouldn't be slept on, especially from now into the future. I think that's really where you're going to see a lot of artists coming out and emerging from over the next 10 years or next decade. Did you graduate college? No, nah, I didn't graduate. By my third year, I was signed. You know, I, by my third, by my second year, you know, I had walked that walk popping, which was like my first official single. I had done probably like five or six mixtapes prior to that, but that's when... I was getting shows and paid shows by the time my second year down there. By the third year, man, I had a record deal. So, you know, I, I left there from a record deal that went straight to what I'm doing now. And now, you know, that's definitely a blessing. What's the worst thing you put your parents through? The worst thing I put my parents through? I mean, I think you just go through that stage when you're young, you feel me? like. You just rebellious, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of times, you know, people don't see the vision, even in your family, that you see, and you have to fight that. Like, even rapping. Like, I grew up, I was a hooper. I played ball. It, you know, I was going that route, and I, and I always did love music, too. But when I decided to do music, it was just a switch up, you feel me? It was like, okay, you've been doing this show your whole life, and now you want to do this. And, uh, you know, I had to be courageous about going about it. So I think when I was going through that whole little transition, you know, a lot of people in my family weren't really understanding at the time, but uh, overall they was pretty supportive, so I can't really just complain too much about it. Much love to my family. What jobs did you have growing up? Man, my first job was uh, McDonald's. And you can cliche, but it was McDonald's. Then I went to FedEx. By the time, FedEx is what really what let me know that I didn't want to work, you feel me? It, and it wasn't because the work was hard. I was an athlete, you feel me? But it let me know, like, I remember being at FedEx and I was writing, I would turn like the little cardboard boxes and I'd be writing verses because that's when I used to write in the pad real heavy. So I remember like trying to load the thing. We used to have this thing at FedEx to where, you, you know what I'm saying, you trick because you got supervisors coming to watch you. You can't have, get it stacked up the lights on. So what you do is you build walls. That's what they call you build them. You know, so we had this thing where we'll build it like three forts and every box that come in, we'll toss them behind it. We'll build it out. Because, you know, stacking them is way harder and it's time consuming. You can get backed up. So uh, me and my homies had a little method to where we'll come out some, make the wall about three forts to where when the supervisors pass by, they can't really see that, you know, what's behind it. And then when, you know, you get the boxes coming, you just toss everything behind. And once it just get kind of filled up back there, you 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 put the boxes up on the wall and you can't see what's behind it. So basically you'll have a wall behind the wall. You have a wall and behind that you'll have a lot of just boxes thrown behind it, but you can't see it. So that was just like something we used to do slick because it used to be real tough at FedEx. To me, it was like modern day slavery with a little pay, you feel me? So I really wasn't rocking with that. Like that let me know, fuck it, I'm gonna do this rap shit and I'm gonna focus on that and I'm gonna make whatever I can make happen. So yeah, that was my first two jobs uh, efficient. I used to work with my pops before that, like my pops you know, uh, the air conditioning, heating, and I used to always do that when I was younger, but my first official job was McDonald's and FedEx. What's your message to the youth? Man, stay focused. Like, and I mean, that sounds cliche, but to be real with you, that's the only thing that may be the hardest thing to do. Like, stay focused on something that you're trying to do. It sounds so easy or sounds so cliche, but one thing I would say that's probably the hardest thing to do 
to stay focused the whole time, you know, because you're going the distractions are gonna come, everything gonna come to throw you off that path, and before you know it, you'll be off that path. So I mean, definitely, if you're doing music, if you focus on sports, if you're trying to be a doctor, lawyer, I mean, I done seen, I got home, I got friends that was like salutatorians or real. Well, you know, it was real high in rank in the schools and they was gonna do this and they got knocked off their path through distractions and I was like, if they would've stayed focused, they would've got there. So it's really just about being focused. I promise you, like whatever you try to do, if you stay focused on that, you know, the hardest thing, the only thing that can knock you off or stop you from doing it is pretty much yourself. Yeah, so I think that's the main thing. Keep it simple, but something that I know can be real effective.